QuickBooks Online Advanced includes hundreds of ready-made reports that you can run at any time, but you can also create your own. We'll go over how to create a new report, including how to choose, sort, group filter, and create pivot tables with your data. Then you'll learn how to save the report so you can run it again later. Feel free to use the chapters below to skip to a section of the video. Select Reports. Let's build a report that shows every unpaid invoice over $1,000. Select Create New Report. Select what you want to include in the report. Select Create. QuickBooks uses the transactions within this date range to build a report. Select the drop down and choose a different date range to widen or narrow the data for your report. The report organizes your data into rows and columns. Select the Columns button to change what's on the report. In the Reorder tab, you'll see all the columns currently on the report with a check mark. To remove a column, uncheck the checkbox. You can select and drag columns to reorder them. To add something else, select More Columns. Use the search to look for more columns to include in the report. Or select a category and look for the column you want to add. Let's add AR Paid. This shows whether the invoice is paid or unpaid. Close the Columns window. Right now, the report displays a list of invoices over the selected date range and does not group or organize them except sorting by date. But you want to see the invoices totaled by customer. So select Group By. Then select the Group By dropdown and select Customer. The report totals sales by customer. But because it lists each sale as a row, you have to scroll to see more customers. So. Let's collapse the report. Select this button and then collapse all. Select an arrow next to a customer's name to see the details. Now the report shows the number of invoices each customer had in the date range and the total dollar value invoiced. You can also create subgroups. Select Add and choose AR Paid as the subgroup. When you select the customer, you see their invoices divided between paid and unpaid. Select a subgroup and you see the transactions that make up the total. You can also select a transaction to take a closer look at it in a new tab. QuickBooks sorts the report by date. You can sort the report in other ways though. Select any column header with up and down arrows to resort the report. Let's sort this report so that the customers with the highest balance appear first. Select the Open Balance column header and then select it again. Now the customers with the highest balance appear first. By default, groups total by amount and total dollar value. But you can change those settings in the Edit Group Calculations menu. For instance, you could total a report like this by average or percentage to see what percentage of the whole each customer represents. Select an X next to a group to remove it. The report shows all invoices issued for this year to date, but you can limit what's shown on the report with filters. For this report, you only want to see unpaid invoices. So select AR Paid equals Unpaid. Now the report only shows unpaid invoices. Let's narrow this report a little more. Select Add Filter. Let's set this report to only show invoices with an amount greater than $1,000. Note that we're using an AND filter, so QuickBooks will only show results that apply to both filters, but you can also make OR filters. Let's use pivot tables to look at this info differently. Turn off the filters, then select the pivot table. For rows, select customer. For columns, select AR Paid. And for values, select Amount. Close the pivot table window. Now you see each customer's name and their totals for paid and unpaid invoices, each in their own column. Use More Actions to schedule an email that contains the report, to email it immediately, or add the report to a management report. Note that a report can have multiple schedules. Select Export Print drop-down 
to see your options for exporting and printing the report. Enter a name for your report. If you want to run this report again later without going through these steps again, select Save As. Now you can select Reports and then the Custom Reports tab to select the report to run it again with the latest transaction data. You can also perform other actions with your custom reports, like organising them into groups, running them in Excel with Spreadsheet Sync, and more. Now you're ready to create your own reports from scratch with the Custom Report Builder. Use the chapters below to return to a previous section of the video.